Woo, there we go. Okay. Back in the, uh, the Spider Farmer G8600 LED series, it is a hybrid cross basically between the SC7000 and the SC1000W. So I dropped that video yesterday. Um, when you're going to play around with hydroponics, just know that your equipment is basically the vital sign of your plants. It's basically equivalent to you or somebody laying in the hospital bed being hooked up to a, ventila a ventilator. Because I did see a couple of those questions. Well, I don't know if if that would happen in you know a couple days to a plant. It's it's based like I said, it's equivalent to like somebody sticking a bag over your head and expecting you to breathe for several days. Once that oxygen is cut off at the roots and the roots are just submersed and and just water that is not circulating, uncirculated, stagnant water, the plants are just going to they're just gonna wilt up and die. There was another question. The video when I took that video. It was several days after I got the phone call because I came over here immediately and it was what it was. I already knew just by taking a look at the plant, there was no reviving, no coming back from that. There was absolutely no way I could regenerate that plant in any way. It is what it is. There's no, there's, it's no reason to like ruin, ruin friendships over. It's just something that kind of comes along with the territory when we're, when we're working in this industry, these things happen. So if you guys are out there watching this and you're like, I want to, I mean, 80% of you guys voted to like see these things, but yet like 80% of you grow DW or you guys grow cocoa or dirt. It's kind of flip flop there. So it's like a lot of, there's a lot of interest, but there's a lot of people staying on the safer side too. DWC is great. Hydroponics is great. As long as you understand the importance and, and, and the facts that the equipment is your vital signs then it's then then you're good to go then you understand the basic fundamentals of it without the equipment your plant cannot survive reading some more comments in the section there was a couple people that had suggested a dwc system or a watering system and uh, some additional equipment on spider farmers website to my great surprise i didn't even know that they had that stuff on there well, otherwise i probably wouldn't have made this thing right here okay I'm not like updated daily about like new spider farmer products dropping. I'm thinking about while I'm in this little predicament here, do I need this? Should I upgrade this? What else can I do? Uh, well, let's, let's fix some of these things together. I don't necessarily need this. This is a homemade tote. And although this works, I literally probably spent more money on this setup than if I were to just buy a hydroponic system on their website because I think it was like $60 or a hundred bucks. I spent that much money building this system and this I did from home. It doesn't make this system any more better. It just makes this a home home system. And if you were following from the beginning, you guys know I suffered from a, quite a few leaks here. I suffered one here and here. Uh, trying to avoid all those headaches. It, it's probably easier that I just buy a system that's relatively inexpensive, like I saw on Spider Farmer's website. And um, I'm highly considering that right now since I am in the state of, you know, reorganizing this room and trying to get another plant over here so we can, so I can finish this DWC series. Somebody said, DWC curse, question mark. I had tried to do LED on the channel 10 years ago. At that time, LED technology was a novelty. It wasn't anything great, but yet these fixtures would cost like $3,500 and they would weigh like a hundred pounds. You couldn't run them in a tent. It would be hard to strap them on a, a two by four joist going back and forth on a light mover. They were extremely heavy, bulky, expensive, and inefficient. And But that was in you know the infancy of LED technology when it comes to growing plants. So the whole story there is with the DWC curse is the fact that I tried to grow LED on this channel 10 years ago and it failed miserably. The, the plants did not like the, the LED technology that was in existence back then. They didn't like it at all. The reds and the blues were just highly just overpowering. There was no white spectrum. It was all reds and all blues and these old school LED technology lights. So that's where I wrote the DWC curse. That's basically what comes in play. Doing DWC and LED on camera 
I haven't done. I haven't even tried to attempt it since way back then. For over 10 years, and for good reason, it wasn't until Spider Farmer came out with the SE4000 and SE7000 that I was willing to give it another try, but only on camera at the moment I tried the 4000 and the 7000 series, I was actually running Coco. It's a happy, you know, versatile medium. You, it's hard to mess it up. If you, the only way you're going to mess this up is you just let the cocoa go completely dry or you're just over fertilizing or under fertilizing and stuff like that. So, you know, that being said, it's an extremely well grounded, uh, you know, medium to use inside your garden. You're not going to have many problems if you know what you're doing at all. So, which got me thinking we're in this DWC series. I'm not going back to cocoa right this second, I, although I, I, it is my favorite method of growing right now just due to its sheer you know, simplicity of use. DWC will provide a to, two to three times faster vegetative rate than cocoa. I, if I'm planning to veg a plant for four weeks in cocoa, it'll take me two weeks in DWC or less. Um, it's just veggies and grows everything bigger, faster, twice as fast, two to three times faster. So that's the reason I went to this system. Plus, I really kind of wanted to bring some back some of that, um, you know, that early hydroponic DWC charisma that we had going on in the in the beginning of this channel. We're going to give it another shot. And I'm considering to change the slide at the same time. While I was on the Spider Farmer website, you know, because the uh, there's some people in the comment sections just... Spider Farmer offers hydroponic system. Go take a look. Well, you're the reason I'm here on camera talking about this right now. So I thank you for that. You're going to create a lot more work for me. But at the same time, I, I did notice that they had newer fixtures available too, uh, which I wasn't aware of either. So much to my surprise, I might do a little shopping. I don't know. Let's go. Let's go take a peek at some stuff that we could possibly play with in this garden, in this room on camera for the next, you know, few weeks, few months, you know, the power, you know, being pulled out of the wall and accidentally turned off that air pump, that can just happen. I'm going to have to like tape a red flag on here with a, like maybe a red sticker on the wall with some red tape around the, the, the electrical cord, just to make sure that it doesn't go anywhere. Obvious. If you want to run things, uh, like two of these on separate circuits. So if one circuit gets unplugged, then you have another pump running on another circuit. So essentially it would be really hard to mess that up. That makes a lot of sense too. I don't have two circuits in this room and then I'm not going to run an extension cord to another part of the house or another room. It kind of would be an inconvenience, but if you have that option available and it wouldn't be an inconvenience to you, it is a good idea. So there are some things that we can fix moving forward. And I want to start with the, the possibility, explore the possibility of changing this out for something else. I'm still kind of weary about the whole, uh, although it doesn't leak right now, I am still kind of weary about the whole three quarter inch grommet situation. I don't really like putting silicone on anything. It's in my, it, you know, to me, in my opinion, if you have to put silicone on something, it's, 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 a, it's a liability. When I do work, uh, you know, at work, I don't put silicone on pipes. Silicone is like a water repellent. It, you know, it just kind of keeps water out of things. It's not meant to stop leaks under pressure. And this being a tote and a lot of water in this tote, you know, those grommets are under pressure. But enough babbling. Let's go ahead and uh, let's go shopping. I, I don't know if I'm going to shop, but I'm going to show you what I'm looking at so you guys understand where I'm going with this. All right, let's do it. We're here at my desk and I'm just got on Spider Farmer's website. We're going to look at some products that I was considering and I didn't even know existed until yesterday. All right, so let's take a look. Obviously, they have some Black Friday deals up to 30% off. Don't forget to use code HYGROHYBRID. That's H-Y-G-R-O-H-Y-B-R-I-D for a good portion off. Let's, I don't know what it is, but you're going to get some money. You're going to save some cash. Let's take a look at what I'm looking at and considering right now. Black Friday deal, 69 bucks, two site watering kit for using indoor grow tents and greenhouses, 8% off for Black Friday. Don't forget to use the code HYGROHYBRID for additional savings. Um, these codes are limited time use only. They're not always available, so jump on them while you can. Or I'm looking at the four self 
watering kit right here. Um, so it's either between one of these two, to so the two site or the four site. I'm highly, highly interested in this two site right here, only because we are operating that one room with one site. And I kind of want to stick with that whole theme for no other reason other than that. Um, also, I did see a few other systems in here, two other systems with eight drip emitters. So this, this seems different. They don't look like the same thing. Yeah, they look, they're, okay, they're definitely different. Eight, so maybe up to eight plants. And this right here, this specific thing right here is, is a water reservoir. They are different, two different systems that are similar. They're just built in a way that they are very similar. One's eight drips and one's two. Um, I'm still leaning on this one here. This one seems to come, it comes with these watering trays right here. These runoff stations, for some reason I cannot get these other thumbnail pictures up, but you can see right here, oh, there they are. It's um, it's a catch tray, like a watering saucer. So it recirculates the water that you're dripping into your system automatically back into the reservoir somehow. Gravity, maybe. <laughs> so it doesn't look like this system has that option. Okay, I get it. I see the thing. Okay, there's a price difference. So you're going to pay a little bit more for a little bit more convenience. And that makes sense that this is a two system for $75. And this is a eight system for 70 bucks. Um, there's a little bit of price difference there. But in all honesty, I'm going to go with this system. As long as these sites here, my only concern about this is these particular sites um, here underneath of the plant are sufficient for at least 10 gallon pots. This container over here, the reservoir specifically is 50 liters, which is 12 and a half gallons. Okay. I'm trying to understand and comprehend this system. It is a little bit different, especially what I'm used to running in my rooms. So five five gallon grow bag. So this is a five gallon system specifically for me. Okay. I'm going to want something that's a little larger here in the base. And I think that's why they may offer it in this different choice over here, because if you're going to run a larger system like me, this is what I'm going to consider. Then I do like the, this, the ingenuity here and the, the equipment and the, you know, you know, that's involved that the whole thought process in this just seems much better. But due to the fact that I'm going to want to run larger pots, I'm going to heavily lean on something like this here. So in this case, I'll be able to run up to eight drip emitters. The only, the only difference here I'm seeing is that your fabric pot is going to sit on a, on a, inside of a, a drip tray that you're going to provide for your, for your garden. Okay, so let's move on. I understand the differences between those two now, and so do you. Okay, and the third one, I... <laughs> I didn't know that they had this. This was a little surprising. Somebody said self-watering. I jump on here and they're DWC buckets. They are seven gallons. So at least they're bigger than your typical five gallons. And they provide an air pump for $80. For less than $80, we have a $79 complete DWC system here. It's just built and they just ship it to your house. That's insane. I didn't know that they could possibly make things like this that cheap. So if you're thinking about something like this for yourself and you don't want to spend $100 like I did on a stupid 27 yellow top gallon bin just so it can leak all over the place and you smear silicone on it, go straight to Spider Farmer's website right here for $79. Bucks. Holiday special. Don't forget to use the code Hydra Hybrid. Also, you know, I told you I was thinking about upgrading the light fixture. Bam! They have a 2024, Okay. This is the new creme de, creme de la creme, SE 7730 watt LED grow light Samsung LM301H Evos. Chip diodes in that, in that bad boy right there. I only want to wonder what kind of rims it comes with. But it's only $559. It is basically $100 off. And again, don't forget to use my code if you choose to check out on one of these bad boys. Black Friday specials all across the board, it seems like, from the watering systems. Look, everything's on sale and promo code for you guys. Everything is on sale. The things that I'm looking at are on sale anyhow. 
So I pulled these up because these items pertain specifically to my situation in my garden. And uh, I want to share with you my thoughts about what I'm considering moving forward. And I want to hear your thoughts. So drop all your all your questions and your concerns inside of the description or inside the comment section of this video. And I'll do my best to read each and every one and reply back and take every comment into consideration. All right, guys, let me know your opinions. I'm going to conclude this video. I'll see you guys on the flip side. Peace out. Happy holidays. Woo!